Welcome back to the Sentai Review. It is time to discuss the 1983 yes. yep. robot 83. guy. From, from the Dynaman. Is this from the Dynaman? Yep. Okay. Um. Oh, there it goes. All right, then. Let's do this. And another sword finisher. Go figure. Okay, this guy is... Okay, swords are always hard to describe, so here's what I'm going to say. His legs are very gim from Gundam. His arms are very gim from Gundam. His head is... Looks like another pl uh, ship thing like the last one. Yeah, like a rocket ship landed on his head, and he wore it as a helmet. Um, his chest is... It's got the D from Dynaman. <laughs> Yeah. He's got the D. He's got the D. It's not so much rounded. It is still kind of blocky. His colors are kind of like a light blue, yellow, and of course like grays and whites. Well, on this one at least. And then he has a sword, and I'm I'm not I'm not hating on it. I'm digging on it. Yeah, the sword looks uh normal. Yeah, so that's uh yeah. Next and Oh see so ah. now it looks more blue normal blue. It's a toy. But yeah, it's a the, the top toy. It looks like. Next. It's oh, another... here we go. Some uh, info. Oh, if that's his special move, it looks a little cooler than the uh, oh no the other ones have been, he, where he, he just makes the circle. He's got a stupid ring. Do you, okay. Does he have a boomerang as a weapon? He has. Yeah. He has a boomerang, but look, it has a handle. A handle boomerang. Where? So it's a sword boomerang. What is that? Is that his like? What is this weapon here? Okay, he has a flying punch, so he can send his hand at you. He's got he has a shield, a, Gundam hammer. He has a no. He has a hammer attached to a chained mace. When I seen it, though, it so, reminded me of the Gundam hammer. But the Gundam hammer is simply a chained mace with rockets at the end. So he's playing ball with himself. <laughs> but what is this? Is this like his super secret spy watch up here? Is what is? Dude, that's, when I first seen it, that's kind of where my mind went. That's like that's it, it epic. Like, dude, if he it had just watch. looks like his shield. That's all it looks like. Could be a shield. Man, I wish. Okay, yeah. Next on this guy. Oh, oh. oh it's Whoa. An anime. Yeah, it looks like a animated style of the Zord or Robo. Next. There it is oh, a shield. Yep, it is shield. Okay, he does have a shield. And he's being attacked by a. This thing's biting bug. his leg. Get off me. Some some bugs attacking him? It looks like it. Looks like it. Looks like it. And uh It's like the monster is so sad <laughs> that it can't actually take him down. It's attacking his leg. At and you can I mean it, 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 if the if the if the robot had like feelings and stuff, it would be annoyed right now. At least it's not humping his leg. Next. Oh, fighting pose. It's an epic sword. Yeah, I'm digging the sword. I'm liking that actually. Sword is awfully tall, though. I'm okay with that. Next. He wants a hug. There you go, Shane. Give the Zord a hug. Well, he doesn't look as derpy as others we've seen. I would give him a hug. <laughs> uh, unless he tries to hut headbutt you. <laughs> Next. Kill me. Ah. Oh, here it is with the Dynamon team. I like this picture, actually. This is pretty sweet. It shows all the Rangers on, on the uh, left side, and then on the right side is the Zord. Yeah, a little more. They're, they're looks like right. a little bit detail on the uh, head part of the Robo. If I'm not mistaken, in their series, all of these things are called Super Robots, where we have Zords and or Megazords. Yeah, over there, just Robo, whatever name. I'm pretty sure they're. I'm pretty sure their their terminology for it is they're super robots. Since they're super Sentai. Yes, but I don't think it's just that the super Sentai. I mean, that's that's something in Japan in general. There are super Saiyans. You know, like super is a very like descriptive word for like amazing power, like Mega Man. They refer to him as a reploid. Over there, if I'm not mistaken, I don't think they called it a reploid. I think it was referred to as he was a super robot. Super fighting robot. Mega Man. Well, that's in our theme song thing. <laughs> Next. 
And it's another shot of the team. Barely. <laughs> team. <laughs> It's like it's a zoomed out yeah, picture. It must be like, like a, hey guys, we're down here. Look at us. It's, it's probably a victory image. Next. Oh, we're wow, all right. We're back. These robot reviews they don't they don't take long for us to to look through them. So, what are you thinking, Shane? Well. Other than the um, ridiculous hat. Helmet, hat. He's a pretty basic, you know, robot. I mean, there's nothing bad about that. You know, he, uh, no, I don't see, There's. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I'll, I'll give it a 2.5. Nothing wrong with it. That's no, not the greatest. Scotty. My experience with this uh, Dyna Man comes with a weird, uh, I guess, English dub that were, there was many years ago from the USA Network slash All Nighter thing, and I bear, I don't think that they ever had this Robo in it. So, with this being my only experience with this uh, team, I'll give it a solid three. Um, I'm at like, I guess I'm going to go ahead and one up Shane like we were on the Price is Right, and I'm going to do like a 2.6. Oh, you win. <laughs> ah. That way, it, that it, way, you know. Is somebody going to bet a dollar? <laughs> that's, what he, he's what he, that's what he just did, man. He, 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 I bet like... I bet like ninety five cents, and he's like a dollar. <laughs> so Bill's gonna ever, buy that for a dollar. Have you ever seen the look on the person's face, like when they lean in and they're like, "Ah, oh, I'm thinking uh ninety five dollars," and then the other person leans in and they're like ninety six, and you can see the look on the other guy's face, like, "Fuck you." you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mary used to wake up every morning and watch that show. And if I was home, I would come out and, like, sit down with her and watch it. And, dude, I used to see that all the time. And I used to be like, I used to be like, dude, I would slap that dude. I would seriously backhand that motherfucker. It really sucks, though, is that when that person does go that dollar over you and you find out that they beat you because they were being douchey, that just makes it even worse. You're like, oh, you dick. <laughs> you bitch. So, this guy actually finishes with a 2.7. Not bad. 2.7. Now, as it is or has become customary to do a topic at the end of these, I've got kind of a wild one this time. We weren't given any suggestions, but... <laughs> yet. <laughs> I was talking with Greg, and... We started talking about the superhero theme that you were talking about, right? That I was hinting at, possibly? And if it happened here in America, let's say that for the sake of comic books, they crossed over with, say, DC. And in order to explain their powers, what if each coin tapped into the emotional spectrum? Uh-oh. That's an interesting, very interesting topic. And for our crossover idea, a five, no, a six-man ranger team, which you can see right over here, use our Mighty Morphin, yellow would have been fear. Correct. Pink would have been love. Right. Blue would be hope. All right. Green would be will. <laughs> and black is death. Red would have been rage, but black would be death. Death. That so the, means that every so time... So the Green Lanterns are the... <laughs> no, the... Or the, the Lanterns themselves. The strongest would have been the Black Ranger on a crossover idea like that. Because every time they beat an enemy, the next monster would have to be hardcore enough to beat all of them easily and the last monster that came before him. Because every time they beat one, the black friggin ranger would have been able to be like rise 
and given another black ring to the monster they just beat, and he would have come back as their partner. Oh, you'd have an army of monsters following you. So it would have been like six rangers with an army of monsters against whatever army of monsters the enemy had. Who's the bad guys now? Well, man, all we're missing is a purple ranger and an orange ranger. Or for that matter, or... if we take it by that logic, would the bad guy of a series like that, would it have been the Black Ranger? Could have been. And if that's the case, then you could put the White Ranger on the team? Since... He would have been life. Yes. Yeah, that that would that's an interesting that's an interesting thought. The Rangers all almost always in every team match the emotional and, spectrum from DC. And guess what? Because the Red Ranger's always the leader, he's always mad. He's always mad about <laughs> leading. <laughs> and if he's ever happy or calm or pleased for any reason, he might die. <laughs> Because if you lose the red ring at any point, you die. So he would have to always be angry. So they, like, would, they, they would, would go. They would go to their Zordon, and their Zordon would be like, "Channel the emotional spectrum here." And the Red Ranger would be like, "What's that?" And he would throw up all over the floor. And if he was changing first. Actually, they might end up having to replace the Rangers after they give him. Because if they're like, blue, you are hope. And he's like, yes, hope. And he's like, pink, you are love. And she's like, I feel the love all around me. And then he's like, blah. And he plasma pukes on them and kills both the lanterns they just got. And they're like, shit, Alpha, call two more teens. And then the other three teens are like, well, no, 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 whoa, 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 what just happened? Because there's no way I'm taking a ring if that just happened to him. No, you misunderstand. We goofed. We goofed. Oh. No. We should have changed him first in another location. <laughs> right? Like, like, they could have, like... Alpha, you, go you, clean you, that you up. Been, he could have been, like, uh, when they when they teleported to the, like, the command center and everything, they could be, like... Um, um, I have uh, I have a gift for you, children. Each of you will carry an emotion, uh, 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 an emotion, uh, a ring, which which grants you great power. Uh, but but before we do that, Alpha, please teleport the one we're giving the red to to a different location. <laughs> no, <laughs> he'd be like everyone would be like, who's the red guy? Yeah, no and, joke. and because of how the Power Rangers are, they would just have to go like this. Ah, oh, damn! I'm wearing a red <laughs> shirt. He's like, wait a minute, why, wait. He's like, why do I have to go somewhere else? The green would have great will. Yeah, green. Yep. Yeah. And if you look at if you look at the gods of the emotional spectrum, if that's what their Zords turned into, then like, the Black Ranger would summon a Necron Zord, and the White Ranger would summon an Entity Zord. The Red Ranger would be a charging bull. The Pink Ranger has this weird monster thing it's really hard to explain if you guys look it up in dc there's the emotional spectrum for the lantern cores and each one has a god the pink god is really weird the love god looks like some sort of charging raging animal monster thing is it a bunny no it's not even close to a bunny <laughs> yellow yellow would summon the uh the parallax zord and if you've ever seen what Parallax looks like when he's not contained in a body or a cell, it is some scary shit. Well, and then the green would have like a giant green whale. It's the only way I can explain it. It's like a, a weird whale. fish whale thing. Not as epic as the Dragon Zord. Not nearly as epic as the Dragon Zord. Like it, it could have been worse. Could have been a what frog. About the blue? But because of the ring, he could make a dragon any time he wanted. What about blue? Blue? Oh man, I've seen theirs before, and it's it's kind of tough for me to explain what it is if it's what I'm thinking. Like, without actually showing it to you, it's really tough for me to remember wait, wait, what, what it looks blue? like. Blue is hope. So it'd be Superman. No, <laughs> hope. Hope is actually really interesting. He would be. 
he would actually supercharge the team when he's around. Because it used to be that the blue could only supercharge the green rings. That's no longer true. Blue, after after being... There's some circumstances that go down, and when St. Walker comes back, because he was missing in the comics for a while, he comes back with Sinestro, and he's able to charge the yellow spectrum, which means that if that's possible, blue can supercharge the entire spectrum. Which is not good for the Black Ranger. Yeah, which is definitely not good for the Black Ranger. But the Black Ranger's different. The Black Rings work... They have percentage of power that goes up from zero instead of down from 100. So the more death that surrounds the Black Ranger, the stronger he would become. So as they kill putties and you stupid see, monsters... You just see him over there going, Yes, I feel so strong. He's like, guys, we're... Maybe he should be the leader. No! Yeah, that would make the Red mad. <laughs> and he needs that. What about if the like you let's take it let's take it like you said, and let's say that the Black Ranger was a bad guy because he's death and everything. What's the White Ranger Zord? Maybe an angel. Have you ever seen the entity? Oh man, I cannot explain the entity. You have to see it. It looks. Like... I'll show it to you. Talk. Okay. Okay. So the, I, I I think that's actually a good. Um, Idea, I mean, like, because if you think about it, other Rangers series down the road added different colors. And different different type of Zords yeah, and like, animals like, and stuff like that. Yeah, like, we got a purple eventually, which would have been an indigo. But what would be an a purple animal? I don't know what they're... <laughs> they're a little bit different, the indigo tribe. They're not really a... They're not a core like the rest. Oh, a tribe. So yeah, they're a tribe. Like a Native American... Animal, <laughs> like an eagle, and then uh, we or got a wolf, an, and we got an orange ranger. Eventually. Oh wait, wait, wait! The purple, that one purple uh, sentai, that was a wolf, wasn't it? I uh, guess the purple was a wolf. Yeah. Um, and then they got an orange ranger eventually, and one of the. Yeah, yeah. Purple's compassion, and uh, orange is greed. The purple is like a leech system, in a way. They can channel. Whenever they're around other lanterns, they can channel those lanterns' powers. So, like, the Compassion can use green, blue, yellow, whatever. But they have to be, they have to be in close proximity, I believe, to another lantern. That they can basically siphon that energy force. And as for orange, you don't want orange. Because orange is avarice. Right. Well, or, or the best way to put it, greed. In my, you know... There's only one orange lantern because it's all his. He doesn't like sharing. So whoever the orange ranger get, so whoever the orange ranger would become later down the road, they would give him that, and they'd be, and he'd be like, he'd be like, I have this insatiable urge to take everything. So then we we'd have two villains. We'd have the orange ranger and the black ranger. Essentially, because in the comic books, Larflees ain't your friend. <laughs> He don't give a fuck about you, or you, or me. No, he really don't care about that. He take your phone though. He take Bill's comic book too, and his laptop, TV, girlfriend. He can take it all. That's what he does. But that's a uh, interesting. I never really thought about it. And so you actually mentioned it that, yeah, they each have a color. That thing is the entity. Huh. <laughs> er? The fuck? If anybody's looked up the picture, it's very, very alien. Like, it's very alien. So whoever is the White Ranger gets... God? <laughs> I'd still say maybe some kind of angel. Let's go with that. They get an angel. Yeah, but angels exist in the DC universe, and they don't look like that. Because that's a, because that's a super mega angel. Oh, mega angel. Yeah. I added a, I added a word super to Super mega. 
Yeah, Ultra. Super Mega Ultra. Oh, careful. Careful, you might get Ultra Dino... <laughs> whatever. Ultra Man! What, whatever the new series is called. Uh, what, what was the new one called? The new Power Rangers? It was uh, Dino... Charge, yeah. Dino Charge, yeah. Yeah, Care- Dino Careful, charge. they might do Ultra Dino that's Charge. That's not new anymore. I thought that's over, isn't it? No, they made it super. Really? Yeah. They super Dino they, Charge? They super Basically, di- instead of getting choo-choo trains, we're getting super Dino Charger. To get all 12. Really? <laughs> the inner gems. Of course, it doesn't mean we couldn't maybe get some... Choo Choo Rangers after. I want I've heard it's not coming to America at all. Yeah, that's why they're hearing. skipping it. I want Choo Choo Rangers. Choo Choo Rangers. That, I, that would be an epic show to watch. You know, I would, I would like to. It'd be fun to watch. Oh, yeah. Especially if they keep Concession Bot in it. America wouldn't. <laughs> concession Bot is not appropriate for children. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way they could explain Concession Bot over here. Then you must be this tall to ride. <laughs> no, I was just—it's just a weird thought, though. If if they if they did a crossover like that, no, and, it, and then I was also thinking if they were brought into the Marvel universe. But since Marvel Comics, I believe, Marvel? has already done a Mighty Morphin Power Rangers comic, they were just exactly the same. They were just Power Rangers. There was nothing, nothing special, nothing added, and no crossovers that I know That's of. That's good though. That when you do the DC, like. Uh, channeling the emotional spectrum, considering the fact that their colors match the the, the spectrum, because in DC they would get rocked. Who, who, which company? They're is all doing... gods in DC. They ain't. Which get company rocked. is doing the so, current what? Ranger comic? I thought it was Marvel, unless it's IDW. I don't know, but I don't believe it to be IDW. I thought Marvel got that contract. Of course, I'm. I guess I don't think I've looked into that. In probably two or three years, so by now it might be someone else. But last I remember checking, it was Marvel that had the uh, yeah. the comic right. Yeah, Marvel was doing like the movie comic, and that no, there was there was a the last time I went down to uh, Acme, there were uh, graphic novels of the comics that had a small Marvel logo, and they were all like green, like Return of the Green Ranger was one of the comics, and then there was. Something else where it showed the White Ranger and it said something like uh, something like br- like bright light or something. It was like a weird title, but but it's all it all takes place in the Mighty Morphin era. They're still battling Zed, <clears throat> and then otherwise, I don't know what's going on because. In comic book wise, I don't think any Ranger team aside from the Mighty Morphin has ever had a comic here. Yes, no. Like I said, my my only experience with a, a Mighty Morphin comic book is the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers movie, and if you want to count that weird Turtles mini series that happened. I know nothing about Yeah, I don't know anything about that. But it's the one I brought up the other time when the Turtles were looking for artifacts and medallions and... Do I have to bring it over again? What are you talking about? There was a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles miniseries comic book where they brought in a fake Power Rangers team. Oh, a fake Power Rangers yeah. team. That's not, yeah, no. But like I said, that was the closest thing that I could think of, so. Yeah, but their yeah, Power Rangers actually had a, a running book line. It, it actually went like two or three years. There was a running line of books, not just the movie. Marvel was doing a Power Rangers comic book for a while there, and it was in the Mighty Morphin era. And then not way too long ago at all, only only maybe three years at most, there was another relaunch of that comic line for some reason. I don't know how far it went, or even if it really got off the ground, but I know that they did one, because I see the graphic novels at Acme now when I go there. <clears throat> but yeah, um, interesting topic, though. Well, if we've got nothing else, then this one is done. Yeah. And that's not necessarily a bad thing, but I just thought I'd bring up a topic. So, yeah. Uh, goodbye.
Hey guys, did you like that podcast? If so, head on over to FandomNight.com where you can check out all of our videos, our other members' videos, and subscribe to the RSS feed to get constant podcasts every other day. Later on.